Um, well, I will um, uh, conclude our um, multiplier event. Um, I would like to ask you to, uh, to fill uh, the questionnaire, the pool, uh, to evaluate our, our uh, multiplier event. Um, so after these uh, small concluding remarks that I will that I will make, we will invite you to come into the to the Zoom and to participate and to attend to this uh, uh, musical moment with a real or a virtual glass of port wine. I know it's it's not even three o'clock in Portugal. It's too early <laughs> uh, to start drinking, but uh, well, it's just a symbolic moment and we will have a musical um, video that was uh, specifically and specially uh, organized to us, to our event uh, by Atituna, which is uh, the our faculty a uh, group of uh, music um, uh, and is, uh, it's a, a female group of music, a traditional uh, group of music uh, uh, of the university context. So, and you will see, and I think that we will have uh, one of the coordinators of this group with us with a brief explanation. But, uh, well, uh, thank you for staying with us during this, during this day. Um, uh, so I think that uh, in the end of, of today, um, I think we learn a little bit more about uh, higher education students involved in mentoring programs, how they are working, how they are understanding and, and, uh, and trying to, to help their peer colleagues in, uh, in their first year. We also learn a little bit more about expectations of, of students that are finishing their uh, studies in, a, in, a, uh, in secondary education and how are they seeing their, their lives in the near future in, a, in the universities. We are also as a team a little bit more aware about the potential of I belong activities, our outputs and what might be uh, improved and what can be uh, transferred and uh, um, scale up to, to other contexts. So we also discuss a little bit more uh, different mentoring programs in different stages of development, as we could see in the afternoon. And uh, we found similar challenges among very different universities um, from very different geopolitical contexts. And it was really inspiring in our perspective. So one question that uh, Fumane uh, uh, brought to us was how can students care for one another? So concepts as diversity, a sense of belonging, as mentoring, as inclusion, um, are they relevant to other organizations beyond higher education institutions? That was uh, a question that we have been asking uh, among us uh, in the past and we had the opportunity to listen to uh, a colleague to Nadia that came from another institution, from my, an IT company, and uh, she found links. And we will build up on that on that uh, reflections that that she she did. In the in this last activity, the power walk that was facilitated by Pravini. Um, well, I in among a lot of interesting reflections that participants did. Um, Angelica was saying that we, we have a lot of opportunities to reflect in our context um, and we should for sure also to, you know, to confront us with this, uh, with this kind of exercise and try to, to walk on the other person's shoes. We cannot take for granted, you know, inclusion in our universities just because we discuss all of this theoretically and we um, deliver classes on that. Uh, so we should always pay attention uh, within our uh, reflexive context as well. Uh, so um, in the end, and hopefully uh, we are a little bit more close to contribute to answering the question with which our keynote in the morning started with, what is a university? So we will keep working to answer to that question. Uh, and this lead, lead me to the last remark that I would like to, to, to give you, which is um, our last uh, multiplier event, the last multiplier event of I Belong Project. 
that will take place um, in, in the end of this, uh, of this year, somewhere between November and December, uh, and it will take place, uh, I don't know if online, online and offline, um, in Erasmus University of Rotterdam, but at least it will be organized by, by Erasmus University Rotterdam. So stay tuned, um, follow us, and uh, you will receive information uh, after the, the summer break for sure. So uh, after this, I think that Ivana is ready to let you all come in to our Zoom Marique. room. It's Marik. Sorry? Marik will talk. Oh, okay. Okay. The floor is yours, Marik. Thank you. Um, well, I would like um, to thank all participants of and contributors to the I Belong meetup today. Um, so students, staff uh, and management from our partner universities and very relevant um, for today's topic on scaling up and um, students and representatives of other universities and organizations beyond universities in the world. Uh, I hope that you were all inspired by the interesting I Belong practices. Um, and I can assure you that we were very much inspired by your stories and experiences. I would like to end with some key takeaways for me uh, and my work as a higher education researcher and program director uh, in higher education. Um, Higher education um, institutions still seem not to recognize and acknowledge the cultural capital of our diverse students. And I therefore see a task for higher education institutions in formulating university-wide sense of belonging statements, uh, representing underlying values such as equity and social justice, for example. And so that's Hopefully, universities will really turn into uh, pluriversities in which diverse students um, are able to use their talents uh, and to flourish. And I would like to end with uh, citing one of our uh, student mentors, uh, Branka, uh, to please keep in mind, so both students and staff and uh, university management, that university is not only about the classes. Thank you very much for joining us today and I'll give the word back to Sophia. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I think that uh, Luisa is already with us. Yes. Hi Luisa, welcome. Hi. Thank you very much for, for being with us and uh, give us this uh, introduction to Atituna performance. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, first of all, we, we, we appreciate the invitation. Um, hello everyone, I'm Luisa, uh, a student at the Faculty of Psychology and Educational Sciences from the University of Porto. Uh, and I'm excited to be here today and tell you a little bit about this tradition we have at uh, Portuguese universities. Uh, maybe you have seen some people with Harry Potter like capes and gowns and related to that we have uh, some groups that play traditional music like Fado, uh, which is more uh, the specific groups that play that. And there is also the Tunas. Uh, Tunas is a musical group that us usually each faculty has most often one for girls and one for guys, but there are also some groups that are more inclusive and um, anyone can join. In our case at Ituna, we are the group of girls that study uh, psychology and educational sciences, and we play different instruments such as guitars or more traditional Portuguese instruments, um, as well singing, obviously, and uh, we not sing just in Portuguese, but also in Spanish. 
We sing some music of our own and others from Portuguese artists, uh, which we'll, we will be showing today. Um, and this group uh, has been around for almost 15 years. Um, and today we would like to show you a little bit of what we do. And I really hope you all enjoy. Thank you, Luisa. Ivana, you. it's up to you now. Yes, uh, so you, you see the meeting ID and the passcode, so you can join us. Uh -huh. oh, okay, let me stop sharing.
Thank you very much. Goodbye to you all. Thank you, Louisa.